What is up guys and welcome to the channel. This week has been fucking insane. At least this weekend's been quiet. The taxi strike came to an end. So we are sitting with a little bit of peace here in the Western Cape. So for those of you that don't know, in South Africa we've got things called taxis and what they do is they, it's a minibus taxi and it, it's like mass, mass transportation. I would say the taxi industry transports probably about 90% of the workforce to work every single day in South Africa. So they're quite important, but they've got government by the balls. And like we've seen this week here in South Africa, there's been massive protesting by the taxi industry, specifically here in the Western Cape in Cape Town. They have destroyed property, shot at police, set fire to property, caused roadblocks. It's been fucking crazy. Five people killed in similar incidences this week uh, that passed. Basically what happened is they were diverted or took a road that went through a pretty dangerous area or volatile area involving these taxis and what ended up happening was they ended up getting attacked and you'll see that in this video this is one such incident that was recorded And like you saw in my trailer earlier this week, the question we ask is what do you do when you're in this kind of situation? You've been re-diverted in traffic, you're driving towards your destination, you've got your firearm on you, you've got passengers in it, and you come across something that looks volatile, there's tires in the road burning, um, there are people running towards you, what do you do? So a lot of people will say, and I've seen it, they have these bright discussions uh, around the barbecue, around the bri, and they have this thing where their, their ex-cousin's girlfriend's boyfriend is a task force member in the police, and they have told them that uh, they must just shoot. So in South Africa, the law is pretty clear about self-defense. If your life is in danger or a third party's life is in danger, you are entitled to defend that life by any means possible, be it firearm, knife, brick, car, whatever, your choice, you are allowed to defend your life. You can't just go and shoot people for, for no reason. You can't shoot them for protesting. They have a right to protest. You can't even shoot them for setting fire to tires and putting them in the road. However, when you can shoot is when there is an imminent threat to your life. And that's the important thing that we need to remember here. Standard advice, best advice you could probably ever take is if you see that thing happening in front of you, two, 300 meters, whatever, put your car in reverse, get out of that situation and go back to a safer area. It's gonna be, it's gonna be much better that way. If however, you are caught in a situation where you can't and your car is disabled, for example, you've driven down a certain section and rocks have been thrown at your car, you swerved off, you've damaged the axle on your car and your car can't drive anymore, well then it's go time you better hope to god that your training comes into place you've got enough ammunition and that you can get the fuck out of there um there has been an incident i know of one person that was ambushed almost three times they discharged their firearms all three times and it saved them and managed to help them to get out of the situation they were in sometimes it's not viable to turn around and go back the way you were coming from sometimes you just can't get that way quick enough so my advice to you would be if you can get out of there get out of there if you can't get out there you better hope to God that you've been training well enough that you can shoot from a seated position. A vehicle is a bullet magnet. Your vehicle's soft skin. It's not going to provide you much cover, even from the front. Um, it's not a good idea to try and use your car as cover unless you're behind the engine block. And even then, certain things can pass through. One of the most important things to know at that situation is that one of the most deadly weapons that you have in your position at that time is the vehicle itself. So for the guys who, who do have firearms, best thing to do is go on to a course that you do vehicle combatives. There, there are a lot of guys doing it around the country. Make sure you've got someone who knows what they're talking about, who knows what they're doing as well. Um, get, get recommendations. Um, don't go for the sort of Israeli cool Krav Maga vehicle crap that you see with, the, with these guys. You see these videos online all the time. It's a load of horse shit. Um, go to someone who knows what they're doing who's had military training or who's been extensively trained as a firearms instructor. Vital, especially in, in South Africa, with hijackings being so high, uh, it's definitely worthwhile doing. There's another line of thought that we need to take into consideration here as well is why the hell should we be held hostage? If I need to get from point A to point B, why am I going to be hampered by people who think they can do whatever the fuck they want? 
this episode is currently sponsored just by me because I haven't got any sponsors and the channel's growing. So uh, if you like this episode and you like what I have to say, hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom and stay tuned. We'll get you some more good content. Some of you guys are pretty fucking awesome. I appreciate the comments and stuff that we're getting at the bottom. Um, some really, really insightful stuff. Not much hate, which is quite cool for a change. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe. Oh.